Oh, Mother Nature sending us a message. Winter just isn't ready to say yeah. goodbye. Old man Winter wanted some attention, and he certainly got it. Now what we're dealing with is fog. That's the main concern. Take a look right now at our evergreen Parkway I-70 cam. Dense fog. Your visibility is near zero. You are well under a mile, and it's patchy. That's the concern. You can be driving along. Everything is good. It's smooth sailing. And then, well, your visibility just drops. So please take it slow for all of I-25. As far as our snow showers are concerned, they're pushing out across the plains. And like I told you, it is dropping a quick inch, maybe even two inches. So just south and east of Lyman, though, continuing out of the state. What we see is just a few lingering showers. We could pick up one more burst of snow, maybe even heavy across the metro area, but no additional accumulations. Rain showers will also mix in. We're just right near the freezing mark. Now, clouds hold overnight, and that really is associated with fog. So through 5 a.m., we see fog eventually it breaks up by 9 a.m., but the metro area all the way up towards Fort Collins and our northern border, you will run into near zero visibility. So let's pump the brakes out. The Rockies game, interestingly enough, it's not canceled tonight, and we are still seeing some flurries. So, you know, 38 degrees as you're getting ready for the game if you're venturing out tonight. And well, as we're wrapping up 34 degrees, it is cold. Probably not the most comfortable. It's more so a movie in bed or on the couch type of evening right at the freeze mark at the airport tonight. 33 for the metro area. A few snow showers lingering. And again, I want to emphasize it's the fog. It's very dangerous. It'll catch you off guard. And tomorrow, here we go. Yes, yeah, some fog as you're waking up, but we are up to the low and mid 60s across much of the front range. The sun is out again in full force. The winds, they remain calm. It is a cold start. That's important to keep in mind, but we waste no time. 60s on tap by 4 to 6 o'clock. It's a two thumbs up day for any outdoor plans. A real nice way to wrap up the weekend. This is only an appetizer for what's headed our way for the week. So 64 will be the high tomorrow across the metro area. 62 up in Brighton. 50s, 60s as far as the high country as well as the foothills are concerned. Let's take a zoom in towards Boulder, Broomfield. You go over towards Lafayette, 60. Eldora will peak at around 50 degrees for the day tomorrow. So some 40s and 50s as you venture up in elevation. I want to break down our pattern because it does begin to get active again. A ridge of high pressure. We're jumping ahead towards Wednesday, sitting right across the really southwestern United States. And this does linger through the Thursday time frame. Then we start to see a more active stretch of weather. Here's our first low pressure system. Brings slightly cooler air, unsettled conditions. And here's our next wave. So an active pattern as we wrap up this week ahead and into the weekend. That's why tomorrow... Take advantage of some of the more comfortable conditions. You see the roller coaster of temperatures Monday, 75 degrees, a bit cooler Tuesday. It's just with that more active pattern. Wednesday, I think there's a good chance we break the 80 degree mark. So your extended super seven day forecast, 75 degrees by Monday. We waste no time warming back up. Take a look at your rain chances across the board. It's a more unsettled week. I think Wednesday onward, though, will be the greatest chances, something that we keep a close eye on. One more thing to keep in mind. Yes, we do warm nicely once again, but our average last freeze is not until May 5th. So Karen, probably still going to pump the brakes for any outdoor, you know, activities, setting up the sprinkler, whatever it may be. Good.